please stand and recite the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag with us. Thank you. Roll call, please. Alderman Lockett. Here. Alderman Davis. Here. Alderman Gillespie. Here. Alderman Spivey. Here. Alderwoman Evans excused as absent. Mayor Ford. Present. Okay. Pastor. Good evening. Let us pray. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. We've come with singing in our hearts, thanking God for a brand new year, allowing us to see 2020. And we come asking for him to lead us and to guide us as we go forth into this brand new year. We come praying for our mayor, our council members, our fire department and police department, all the fine men and women who serve this great community. May God bless the residents of Country Club Hills. May God bless our troops. And may God bless America. Amen. 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 Thank you. Alderman. A journal of proceedings, approval of minutes, the regular city council meeting, January 13, 2020. Second. Okay, it's a most probably motion and second. Are there any questions, corrections? If all is in favor, let it be known by the sign of aye. Aye. Okay, ayes have the motion carries. At this time, we have communications uh, from the mayor. And I just wanna say that uh, just like everyone else, uh, we have lost a great a great icon this weekend. And just let me say to the public, live your lives, live your life to the fullness. Let's stop wasting time on things that doesn't matter. Let's, don't, let's stop wasting time on things that does not matter. I know there's challenges that we have in life every day, but we need to understand that our destiny is already set. And we need to make sure that if we have a bucket list, that we go out and make things happen, the things that we want to happen in life. So once again, I'm encouraging the public, my peers, live life to the fullness because you don't know what your destiny is. And that's my thought for tonight. At this time, I would like to call for the city clerk's report. Well, we got the okay, I'm sorry. We have the public uh, here tonight that uh, have been uh, working hard over the holiday season uh, to beautify their properties and I want you to know how proud we are as a council that you do take time out of your schedules to make sure that your properties are in good shape and that's why we want to recognize you tonight uh, at this time I would like to ask uh, Ms. Joanne Wade to come forward uh, the environment environment the commission members for our 2019 Holiday Housing <coughs> Judgment Award recipients. Hello, I'm Jennifer Braun Denton. I am the chairman of the Environmental Commission. I have Helen McClendon here and Onetta Outlaw with me from our commission. Uh, Joanne does a great job, she's, she's our liaison. So what we do is for each ward we have um, a, w a winner and then we have an overall winner so if I call your name please come up front and we'll um, give you your, your certificate and then we'll take a picture um, first place for Ward 1 Anthony and Sharon King 
Anthony, oh, Anthony, here. Anthony. <laughs> Oh, you want me? To? Oh, oh, oh. Nope. Yes. Go ahead. Oh, oh, the mayor's coming. Okay, okay. Yes, she Oh, she, 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 she just didn't want to get up. That's all. Yes, Um, the award two, second place Holiday House Award goes to Levita Davis, 4131, 172nd place. It's by Mayor James W. Ford, the City Council and the Environmental Commission for your outstanding display of holiday lights for adding sparkle to our community for our holiday season for an even more beautiful Country Club Hills. Okay, now we go to Ward 2. We have um, Tony Boswell, 175 47 Sycamore Avenue. Okay, for Ward 3, first place is the Schmidt family, 4410 West 187, 86th place. Ricky. Ward 3, second place, Limsella Navels, 4318 West 186th Street. Third place for this uh, third ward, the Mayhe family, 17810 Rosewood Terrace. Uh, now we, oh, sorry. Wait. Oh, we had a tie for third. Oh, so this is the fourth ward. <laughs> I'm confused. Ward four. <laughs> uh, we have third place, uh, Tyrone Nuttall. It's 4151 West 189th Street. <laughs> Tyrone and a niece. Congratulations. <laughs> yes. 
Uh, second place for the fourth ward, Jeff and Margot Brown, 18640 Walnut Avenue. Can I get in some Mary, Can I get in some of these photos with you? Oh, <laughs> four, four, just jump. Um, Ward 4, first place, Reginald Lewis family, 18641 Walnut Avenue. Ward five, third place, Derek and Janine Bass, 186.55 Laramie Road. Ward five. Don't go away. Uh, Ward five, second place, Amira and Ronon Smith, Kate Greer, one ninety oh one John Avenue. Uh, Ward 5, first place, Susan and Glenn Vlach, 189.51 Anthony Avenue. And then we have an overall winner from the whole city. It's uh, Deborah and Jesse Walker, 4129 West 177th Street. Alderman Lockett. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh my goodness. Garns, tell them who you are. <laughs> Congratulations, everyone. Thank you, Mayor.
Thank you, everyone. We'll see you next year. You have to uh, turn in your application at City Hall. There's always a box. You just put your name in, and then we come around and, and see you guys. Thank you very much. Thanks again, and congratulations to all the winners. Once again, we do appreciate the hard work that you guys <coughs> do and put in for the beautifications of your homes. Thank you again. So at this time, we're, we're going to move on with the agenda. Uh, and the next agenda item is the city clerk's report. Thank you, Mayor Ford. Uh, the city clerk's first mobile event went very well. Would like to thank Mr. Ross and the CRC staff for hosting. I'm sure they probably didn't know they were going to, but we had a great event. Uh, Cook County clerk's rep was there for voter registration and there are opportunities to earn between two and four hundred dollars in extra income to work on election day also reminder the presidential primary is upcoming on march 17th we also had a representative from the u.s census for general information and opportunities to again work with the u.s census for extra income so i do have a couple of items just to share with you this is this is one of the posters that you will see around town for the U.S. Census. Uh, the alderman and the treasurer and mayor have one of their swag bags. I, couple, I have a couple extra one of these for uh, after the meeting as well. And we have some information on the table over to the right. And we have a couple of little fans as well. So just some information that we were also sharing at the mobile event. The last representative we had at the mobile event was the state treasurer's office for iCash lookups. The state of Illinois currently has $2.9 um, $2 billion in unclaimed funds for Illinoisans. To see if any of this money may be owed to you or your family member or friends, I need you to come out to the clerk's next mobile event, which will be Friday, February 7th, between 6 and 8 at the CRC for the All-Stars Night, as well as Saturday, February 8th, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. again at the All-Stars, 4709 West 179th Street, our CRC. Upcoming events, we have the Daddy and Daughter Dance. Again, the theme is Frozen, February 8th, uh, 2020, at the lower level of City Hall, 6.30 p.m. And a reminder that City Hall will be closed Monday, February 17th in observance of President's Day and will resume normal business hours on Tuesday, February 18th at 8 a.m. Last item, a reminder, the annual Black History Play is coming up Saturday, February 29th at Hillcrest High School, 175th and Pulaski at 3 p.m. Our next meeting will be held after this one, Monday, February 3rd, an admin meeting at 7 p.m. End of report. All right, thank you. Next, we have an agenda. We want the uh, city uh, collector's report. Thank you, Mayor. For the month of December, ending December 31st, the general fund had $703,053.79, MFT $123,462, excuse me, dollars and six cents, and the water and sewer fund $378,994.65 totaling $1,205,510.50 in the report. 
Thank you. Next, we have the city treasurer's report. Thank you, Your Honor. Our bank balance as of uh, December 31st was $1,906,603.24. In December, we had revenues of $1,143,736.12. We had expenses of $1,903,101.22. Our expenses exceeded our revenues for December in the amount of $759,000. $365.10, and our bank balance as of this morning is $2,469,117.89. End of my report. All right, thank you. At this time, we'll go to the uh, committee reports, and the first committee uh, we have tonight will be the Finance Committee, and that's Alderman Locke as the chair. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Um, seeking Council's approval for vouchers in the amount of $230,125.50. Second. Okay. Any uh, questions, comments? If not, I have a motion and a second. I need a roll call, please. Alderman Lockett? Yes. Davis? Yes. Gillespie? Yes. Spivey? Yes. All right, thank you. The motion carries. Um, just to mention that the next finance meeting will be February 6th at 12 p.m. Into my report. All right, thank you, Alderman. Our next committee is Law and Ordinance Government Operation. Alderman Gillespie is the chair. Uh, no report at this time. All right. Uh, Public Works and Utilities, Alderman Davis, the chairman. Thanks, Mayor. Uh, next meeting is going to be um, February 4th at 4.30. And uh, I do want to encourage any resident. We're going to be discussing the um, Homewood disposal uh, contract, our refuse garbage collection, and we will have a representative there. So if somebody has concerns, or it'll be a good idea to, to attend that meeting because we're going to be potentially renewing that contract. So, end of my report. Thank you, Alderman Davis. Uh, next report uh, is economic development, planning, zoning. Alderman Spive is the chair. Thank you, Mayor. Just want to announce we have two restaurants coming to town. Hook and Reels will be um, coming into the property of the old Applebee's. They're located here in the Midwest. Um, it's a seafood place, so it'll be really nice for the community. And we also have a seafood shack that'll be coming to 183rd Street next to Baba's. Uh, soon, very soon. So they're going through the process of getting permits and stuff like that. So uh, look forward to having those two restaurants here in town, Mayor. End of my report. Thank you. This is a good choice for our city. Uh, next, uh, we have, okay, anything on insurance risk management? No report at the time. Okay, thank you. Uh, at this time, I need a motion to open the floor to the public. Motion to open the floor to the public. Second. Okay, public, uh, it's been probably a motion and second. Public, if you would like to <clears throat> address the council, please come forward and limit your time to two, three minutes or less. Anyone from the public? You had to go to the mic, ma'am. <laughs> okay, no problem. On the meeting for the disposal, he said it's on February the 4th. The 4th. 430. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Good evening, Mayor. Good evening, City Good Council. Evening. Uh, just to let you know, uh, starting the month of February, April, and March, uh, we'll be providing free tax services for anybody in the Southland uh, who income for individuals 30000 or less or for 50000 56000 for a family, a household, uh, ladder up. I'm the site manager over Bloom Township uh, on Saturdays from 8 to 4 and Mondays from 4.30 to 9. We'll be for providing pre-tax uh, services for any of those residents in the Southland that qualify. Thank you. How do we sign up? Uh, <laughs> uh, you just come as first come, first serve. I'm going to uh, leave you some information okay. tomorrow and you can just put it out for the residents. I'm going to all the city council meetings to let them everybody know. Great, Thank thanks. We appreciate it. Excuse me, it. sir. Can you state your name for my records, please? <laughs> Former Alderman Steve Burris. <laughs> okay. Anyone else?
Good evening. My name is Tony Boswell. I like to, um, first of all, thank the mayor for taking time out to come on a Saturday to my house personally, <laughs> and uh, we did get the result. Two signs. Huh? Exactly. And I right. appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. But we still got one more thing to tackle. Okay. And um, it's the lighting. Oh, the lights, yeah. But I really appreciate that. That really, really going to save a lot of lives and a lot of accidents on that block. I really do appreciate that. Thank you very much. You're welcome, and we'll, we'll work on the lighting <laughs> also. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Anyone else? Motion to close the floor to the public. A second. Okay, it's been probably a motion and a second. All those in favor, let it be known by the sign of aye. 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 Okay, the motion carries. Ayes have it. Uh, the floor is now closed. At this time, we want to um, entertain the automatic reports, and uh, we'll start with Alderman Davis tonight. Thank you, Mayor. Um, just want to um, congratulate the winners again of the holiday decoration. Um, it does it, it does enhance the beautification of our city and um, I, I just want to congratulate you again also I want to um, announce uh, Cornerstone Christian Fellowship they're having their food pantry and it's going to be the 29th which is this Wednesday and it's going to be from 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock and it's for anybody you don't have to be a resident and it's the address is 4101 West Flossmoor Road and that's okay. the end of my report. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman Davis. Alderman Lockett. Um, thank you. Once again, I'd like to thank all the residents that participated in the holiday um, decoration contest. And um, I, I just want to just kind of reiterate what the mayor was saying about living your life. You know, it's, it, it's troubling, troublesome that, you know, that the, the Kobe Bryant and not only him and his daughter, but the other passengers on that plane that they all lost their lives. And, they, you know, they were, they were all traveling for a purpose to be with their kids and do good things for them and that. And it's just, it's just heartbreaking that, you know, uh, that it happened that way. And, you know, just want to keep a lot of love in your heart and think about, think about your, your family, your neighbors, your children, your grandchildren and that. And just build from there into my report. Thank you, Alderman. Like it, Alderman. Uh, I forget his name. <laughs> Alderman Gillespie. Yes. <laughs> okay. I I like to uh, thank uh, Mr. and Mrs. King for their uh, continuation and the uh, making the city a much beautiful and a uh, place for us to live within. The these are residents that not just get one award. They get award on a annual base continuously. So I appreciate those people, the uh, resident within the, especially within the first ward of Country Club Hills for doing a good job in keeping our city clean and keeping it beautiful. And for those that are interested in the uh, meeting for uh, February 4th, 2020, uh, that would take place at City Hall again at 4.30 p.m. And I know we, some of us have complaints regarding the garbage not being picked up. Not, well, sometimes I've had people to come over and ask me, uh, complain to me in regards to their garbage not being picked up. And for those that has problem with the uh, large items that are not being picked up, I'm sure that you have had that problem in the past. So we're having a meeting on the uh, 4th of February at 4.30 at City Hall at 7 p.m. 6 p.m. No. 4 no, 4.30. 4 30. I'm sorry. 4.30 p.m. So make sure that you make preparation to be here and voice your opinion, voice your complaint, or uh, whatever it is that you have in regards to this matter. And keep up the good work. Keep our city safe. Keep our city clean and safe. Thanks. Thank you, uh, Alderman Gillespie, Alderman Spivey. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I'd like to thank all the residents that came out tonight that received the Beautification Awards, uh, especially the 4th Ward. Thank you guys for um, um, keeping the 4th Ward and the city itself 
very looking, uh, very beautiful. I appreciate that. I know you appreciate it. That's why you do it. And uh, thank you very much. Also, I want to uh, take time out to uh, thank Jerry Townsend for taking care of some light fixtures here in the 404. There's a light uh, that's still out over on Keeler, and uh, I think there's Keeler and Flossmore. But um, we have an order out with uh, ComEd that's going to come out and take care of that. Also, I would like to thank uh, Captain, uh, uh, excuse me, Deputy Chief Richmond for um, securing the full forward. Um, he's been very present in the full forward, him and his st staff, and I really uh, appreciate that, picking up the heightness in the uh, strip malls off off on Pulaski and um, 167th Street. Um, the mayor spoke about um, Kobe Bryant, Alderman Lockett. You know, within the last, I think from November up to up into January, we lost a lot of our seniors here throughout Country Club Hills and specifically the uh, Fourth Ward. There's a, you know, as, you know, it was like, it was like natural causes, so to speak, you know, and a lot of our seniors has uh, made that transition. And then this incident with Kobe Bryant and his family and the other teammates and stuff like that, I think that was very um, tragic. And as the mayor said, said earlier about live your life, you know, definitely you have to. And um, I just think that we all need to uh, do what we can and enjoy ourselves and step up and help each other. End of my report. Thank you, Alderman. Okay, at this time, uh, I want to acknowledge a card that we received from Teresa Ann Jemison. Uh, she uh, passed away in December 28. She was a former Alderman of the First Ward. And uh, most of us attended her funeral. And the family is saying, I want to say thank you to the city and all the residents who prayed for the family. So. Let's continue to hold that family up in prayers, uh, and especially uh, Kobe's family and all of those who have lost a loved one. Let's keep everyone <clears throat> in our prayers. Also, uh, Mayor, can, anything else? Can I be recognized one more time? Uh, I have a, a gentleman coming out for, from the uh, Cook County Commissioner's Office in March. Uh, his name is Jordan Sorrell, and he's going to be attending the 4 forward meeting, so we can move forward <laughs> on that later in the uh, uh, and I think it's like the first or second week we discussed over the weekend moving forward. And he's going to have some information that he'll pass out through um, our meeting in the full forward. And I will disseminate that throughout the area. OK, well. great. Thank you. Thank you. I just <clears throat> received another note that uh, Mr. Edward uh, Wilson uh, will be 104 years young on January the 30th, 2020. Now that's longevity. That's longevity and he lives here in, in town. But we have some others that has reached that age as well. And so what I would like to do with the cooperation of the council, one day I would like to invite all of those citizens who are 100 plus here for a luncheon during the day and just you know talk to these guys because and ladies because you find that these individuals have a lot of history they can share a lot with you and so we need to learn from our from our um, seniors and so i would like to do that one day and i think i mentioned that to eric uh, booker already so maybe that would be something that all of us can come out if you're available and just uh you know communicate with these uh, individuals, that's 100 plus years. 104, mm, don't think I'll make it that way. That, that, <laughs> I don't think I'll make it 104. But that's a great accomplishment. So we, we appreciate uh, just knowing that and celebrating his birthday on uh, January the 30th, 2020. Okay, if that's all, I need a motion to uh, adjourn, please. Uh, before I close, if any of you out there that you're um, kids or, or or your husband, your wife, your niece, your nephew, your uncle, your grandmama, your granddaddy, somebody need a job and they don't have a job, yeah. 
We got jobs in the Southland, the census, okay? They're hiring, you need work, they pay for you to go out to do the surveys. So anyone's looking for a job, there's no excuse I can't find a job, you got a job, 2020. And some of the jobs pays up to $30 an hour. Believe it or not, they start at 15, they go up to 30. Yes, and that's a good wage. I'm glad you mentioned, um, I'm glad you mentioned the census because um, I wanted to say something else as well. Um, we got to be counted. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, we will lose, we will lose uh, $14,000 per person that's not counted. And uh, if we have too many of those, we'll end up using, losing a con congressional seat as well. We don't want to lose a congressional seat. We want to make sure that we count each and every individual because we want to make sure that we get every $14,000 we can get. So um, step up and help us to uh, pull this off and be counted. Thank you very much. So what he's saying that if uh, Lil Pookie comes over to your house and eats three nights out of the week <laughs> or there for dinner, then he lives there. Yeah. Make sure he's counted. All right. Motion to, um, for adjournment. Second. Okay, all those in favor, let me know about the sign of aye. 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 The ayes have it. If you would like to speak to the mayor or the, or the councilman, please come forward.